Photocar has deep roots in the Norwegian kitchen going way back and in 1972 a radio station held a highly unofficial poll deciding that Photocar was to be named the national dish of Norway. Photocar is fairly simple to make with only two ingredients, sheep and cabbage. Some would argue and say five ingredients but I don't consider water an ingredient and salt and pepper is seasoning so I claim two. You can use any type of cut from lamb or sheep but most common is neck and shoulder. We gotta cut the cabbage, and if you add a little bit of stem in every piece, it's easier for them to hold together. And uh, sometimes you just gotta use the knife you have laying around when you can't find the other ones. So we start by taking a pan and add a layer of meat. We're gonna add some salt, and you could also sprinkle on a little flour in between the layers for a thicker stock but that's not what I'm used to growing up, so I'm gonna leave that out, but, but you could. And now someone will start reacting, thinking that I forgot something. They are already frowning, but I'm just gonna act like nothing and continue on with another layer of meat. And continue the process until the pan is full. We'll add a cup of water and are almost done, except for one crucial thing. And this is the part where some of my friends will stand in their seat, screaming at the screen. This is where the whole country of Norway is divided. Whole families disintegrates, friendship fall apart, relationship blows up, and friendly conversation at the workplace turns into war and smashing of water coolers into smithereens. Where do you put the pepper? Traditionally, Fodicor is seasoned with salt and pepper, but the pepper is usually whole pepper grains, so you sprinkle that in between the layers with the salt for an evenly distribution. But eating whole pepper grains isn't always that pleasant, so you would have to sit and take them out by hand as you go, or spit, just like a baseball player eating some flower seeds at a game. Many kids and adults have been reluctant to eat Fodicor because of this. That is until one guy figure, or girl figured out a way to deal with the whole issue and made a container for the pepper. So you can use peppercorns in the dish, but when it's time to serve, you can easily remove the container and dig in without having to spit. <laughs> and I spit as I say it. And this is where people are torn. Some say it won't even be for the core using this. It will taste differently and you're rocking with tradition and Fodikor as an institution of Norwegian heritage. Well, I say do whatever you feel like, whatever makes your boat float, and my boat floats using this container. And for those who don't approve, can go f Okay, so now it's time for the magic to happen. We're gonna let this come to a boil, and then we're gonna let it simmer for two to three hours. The original for a court is somewhat unclear. We were under Denmark before and they had a popular dish with goose and cabbage and we have more sheep than we have geese. Another theory, which is my personal favorite, is when two sheep farmers came home late at night pretty drunk from a party and they were hungry and uh, needed something to eat and all they had in the freezer was some meat and cabbage. So they put it all in a pan with some water and salt and pepper. And of course they fell asleep and when they woke up the next morning, we had art by accident, photocor. Or maybe it was just some uh, marketing division at a meat company found a way to uh, push fresh meat at the same time in season so that they didn't have to store it themselves. Because someone smart uh, decided that we'd have... Because <laughs> someone smart did decide that the photocard should have its own day and there's also a club where you can join called uh, the Friends of the Fodicor. <laughs> Hi! So now it's cooked for three hours on low heat. And now it's started to rain and there's a reason we do this outside today because I have two small ones inside the house and besides having to listen to Paw Patrol in the background all day 
Photocore also has a certain smell. And for that reason, many people prefer to do this outside or in the garage. Personally, I like the smell, but your house will have a cabbagey odor for a couple of days. And not to forget, there could be an after effect as well. Many people react to the cabbage and tend to flatulate a bit. So Photocore smells twice when you make it and a couple of hours after eating. No need to try and plate this nicely. Uh, it's a pretty great dish. You could garnish with some greens or uh, put in a couple of potatoes in there. I don't usually, but elderly Norwegians have a thing for potatoes and my mom is watching this. Make sure you make more than one serving though. For the court is even better the next day as the drunken farmers figured out so many years ago. One for the Instagram. So enjoy your photocord. If you haven't seen my pigs eating cake at the birthday party, you can do that there. Toodaloo!